Howdy and welcome to the Mighty Muddy Chug Channel. How's a Chug? I Chug? I Chug, I'll say. Well, you may have already uh, seen the headline. You may see other headlines. You may have see other articles. And what they're going to do is they're going to do this propaganda bit. And what they're going to say, what they're going to try to drive home to you, they're going to try to make you believe Trump plans to nationalize the 5G network. Trump plans to nationalize the 5G network. Trump plans to nationalize the 5G network. Well, the only problem is there is no 5G network. <laughs> There's nothing there for him to nationalize. And you got these phone companies, these internet companies, they're like, well, you know, it's going to take us a while. It's going to take us a while to build 5G out. Yes, it's going to take us a while. It's going to be at least 10 years down the road. And meanwhile, we're going to use the money that we're pilfering from our customers. We're not going to use that on the 5G network. No, we're going to use it to buy companies like we've already bought, you know, like AOL and Yahoo and DirecTV. And we want to buy Time Warner, yeah. And we want to get, we want to buy these other content companies because content's what it's about. Content's what it's about. Never mind that our networks are so damn fucking sorry. Half the nation can't get decent internet. We, uh, we don't care about that, no. We're, we're, we're geniuses. It's all about content. Who cares if whether the customers can be able to access the internet or not? It's all about content. It's all about content. But what Trump and his people are saying, it's about national security. It's about our country being able to keep up with Red China and surpass Red China in technology. Uh, if you read some of these articles, you might not realize that 5G is not just about your cell phone. It's really not just about your entertainment. It's really not just about content. It's about technology that's coming online that requires that 5G network for interoperability and to be what it can be. You can't have these sorry Internet connections if you're going to build these high-tech networks out that includes... A uh, self-driving car, for example, self-driving airplanes that can fly themselves, um, washing machines, robot technology. If they're all going to be connected to the Internet. And to be all connected to the Internet, you've got to have a decent Internet connection. You can't have this sorry shit that AT&T and Verizon think that we ought to be happy with. Now, to, to suggest that uh, Trump wants to nationalize the 5G network, which hasn't even been built yet, is to say that when Eisenhower planned to build the interstate highway system, he planned to nationalize the interstate highway system. No, he wanted the damn thing built. That's what he wanted. He wanted it built. And the only way it could be built was with the government. Do you think that we, now I know some people say we didn't really go to the moon. I'm not going to get into that. But do you think our space program could have been handled by the private sector? No. There are certain roles for the private sector and there are certain roles for government. And communication is a utility, and it is so important. It's as important as our roads right now. <coughs> Having decent Internet is as important as our roads. Now, if you've got good Internet, you may not realize how, how support some of us are having to put up with from sorry AT&T and sorry Verizon. It's disgusting. It's horrible. It's a national... Sh it, 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 it's shameful. So, you know... Irregardless of all the propaganda you may be hearing and your natural belief in capitalism, which I believe in too, I believe there are certain things that the private sector can do a hell of a lot better uh, than the government... But when the private sector isn't doing it, and AT&T and Verizon, they're not doing it. They're not doing their job. They're hurting this country. They have hurt this country. They have they they, they probably take a full point off the uh, gross domestic product of this country with their sorriness. They've hurt me personally. You know, so I've, I yeah, I've got some sour grapes. I got lots of sour grapes. I don't like AT&T and Verizon. Have to use them. Don't mean I like them. So to move technology ahead for health care, for self-driving cars, transportation, um, virtual reality, uh, delivery drones, for, for the full gamut that, 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 this, that this world is fixing to move forward toward, 
For us not to be left behind, for us not to be just left sitting in the dust while Red China takes over the planet. Yeah, it's got the the idea that the government may need to build out the 5G network so that there's no holes in it. It it may be the only solution, irregardless of all this mindless propaganda that you you may see. It may be the only solution. I don't know how often, when you're talking on your cell phone, you hit hit uh, dead zones where you know the communication just ends; it stops. Uh, where you're at, it, it may not be that common, or you may not travel in areas where it's where, you know where it's where where you just lose cell phone service. But with Verizon's current network and AT and T's current network, there are major holes in their system. And you can be sure that if they are left to build out the 5G system, there will be major holes in the system. They will redline the system like they've, they've redlined me, for example, and other people. That's not personal. It's, you know, they do it to lots of people. So people need to take seriously when government officials and Donald Trump say that the government may need to be the one that builds out the 5G network and then allows different companies to rent space on that network. It's it's not Trump being stupid. It's Trump being smart because he's taking advice. He's getting advice from people who understand the situation. And the situation is AT&T and Verizon and other phone companies, Internet companies, have not been doing their job. They have not been doing what they as a company or as companies should be doing. They are hurting this country. They're hurting the economy of this country because they are they are just that they they would rather throw their money away on crap, crap companies than to build out the network that needs to be built out. If you have a different opinion, fine. Everybody's entitled to be wrong. (laughs) Anyway, much thanks for listening. I do appreciate it. Thank you.